Mrs. Rose Darling, says the Duke. Will you or won't you? Listen, Duke, says I. If you think any spavin old lizard like you can put it over on Rose Gillen, why, you're a cockeyed. I'm a lady, are you? Well, people usually knock before they walk in ladies' rooms. So do I. Listen, you big bum. Outside. What? I said outside. I want to talk to Belle. Well, of all the nerve, I ain't dressed. You're dressed well enough for the hallway. Now get out before I throw you out. It's all right, Rose. I'm not afraid of Van. Who is? You are, you flat face. Now get out all before right, I... All right, all right. All right. Where's your sense of humor? Still thinking of quitting the racket, eh? Still thinking of quitting the racket. Mm-hmm. Want to give up everything. Me included. I got to, Van. I can't stand it. I guess I wasn't made for this sort of thing. We've been working together a long time. Yes, too long. I don't feel that way about it, kid. If you quit, I quit. What do you mean? I mean I'm just as crazy about you as I ever was. Crazier. You can't quit me. Because wherever you go, I go. Hey, you! Get finished! It's drafty out here! But I don't understand. I thought... Uh-uh. No, that's the trouble. You didn't think. I've meant every word I've said to you, always. No, I could see this coming a long time ago. I could see you weren't meant for this record, in spite of the fact that you've been in such a long time. What you want is to be in a little house out in the country, or maybe up in a hill, away from all this with a man. And I'm that man, Belle. You say the word and we'll quit. We'll go straight. But Vance, I, I can't believe it. I thought... What? Oh, I don't know. I thought you felt... Oh, look, I have a little pile sorted away. We'll quit and I'll marry you. Marry? Why not? And then we can go hunting that little cottage, that little house out in the country that you have in mind. What do you say? Uh, gee, Vance, I don't know what to say. All right. Don't say anything. Just love me. <laughs> <laughs>